What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? I'm doing all right. Y'all doing good? All right. All right. Cool. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna attempt to teach y'all how to do Blender. Certain things in Blender. I know exactly what I'm talking about with what I'm going to show you. I'm not a master of Blender, but I know how to do what I'm going to show you how to do. So first things first. Start up Blender. <sighs> Always gotta start up Blender. You know what I mean? Okay. This is Blender 2.8. See it? See it down here? Okay, so first thing you want to do is you're going to be presented with this screen if you're on the same version as I am. Just click anywhere, and now you have this default scene. So what I've seen in, uh, in other tutorials, um, to get rid of the default scene, you want, to, uh, you want to hit A to select everything, and then you want to hold shift and click the cube, and then hit X and delete. Okay, and you need to, um, you need to put this cube, just put it off screen. You don't, we don't, we're not going to need that. Okay, so I'm not really gonna teach y'all the navigation of like how to move around like this. This should pro this might, this should probably be something that y'all know how to do. So first of all, as you can see in the title and description, we are going to show how I did this effect. How I made my 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 little head fall into the into the camera frame and then hit the ground and explode into pieces. Right? That is what we're going to do. Very simple effect, really very simple. Uh, first off, if, if y'all want a tutorial on how I made that head, let me know, comment below. I'll show you how I made the head. I uh, I put my face on it. Do we look alike? Hopefully we look alike, but uh, I don't have any modeling. So I can't, I, I don't know how to make stuff in here. So I found some shortcuts on how to get that head with my face on it and stuff. And then I decimated it to give it the crystal look. So if y'all want to see how I made that, leave a comment. But right now, you can use any any mesh for this. I used the head. We're gonna spawn in. Um, we're gonna spawn in Susan the monkey. Yeah, Susan. See, I'm I'm part of the Blender community. Everyone calls it Susan. See, right here, Susan. All right, Susan. Um, Susan has 500 faces, which is really good. We're gonna keep her the way she is. So what you want to do is you want to select Susan, right? All right. See, she's not selected. Select Susan by clicking on her. She gets the outline. You can, uh, if you're on this tool, you can move her around. What you want to do is select Susan, click on Object. Okay, go all the way down to Quick Effects, and then click on Cell Fracture. All right, so I'm not going to teach you what all this is. I'm just going to teach you what I did. You can <coughs> around with this all you want. Source limit. That is how many pieces you you. I don't know anybody in the state NM. I don't know what I don't even know what state that is. Okay, so um source limit. This is the number of pieces your your mesh is going to be broken down into. Make it as big and as small as you want. Just know that the more pieces, the harder this is going to be on your computer. Let's do 200 pieces for Susan and then let's just hit okay. Okay. Now, right off the bat, Right off the bat, she's got a lot of pieces sticking out. Now, I don't personally know how to fix that, so what I would do is hit Control Z, go back, go back to Object, go back to Quick Effects, Cell Fracture, and then turn this down. Let's just do 100, because Susan is kind of weird. Maybe 100 will work better. Oh, that looks like it did worse. Okay, Control Z, let's, um, to be honest, I just fuck around with this stuff. I selected Uniform one time, and it made it better, I think. So let's try uniform. Oh, that did definitely make it better, but we still got a jagged piece. All right, we're going to keep this one, but I'm going to select this piece that's sticking out because it looks like the only piece, and I'm going to hit X and delete. And now... Okay, I'm going to do it to this piece too. Okay. Okay, Susan looks good. Okay, so now, now something you can't see right here. After you've self-fractured your item your uh your mesh if you go up here into your scene collection see this susan this original that doesn't have cell on beside it that is the original monkey so we want to get rid of that or move it to the side do whatever i'm just going to press x and hit delete okay see now we can see where we deleted those pieces see she's got like holes in her face that's fine i don't care all right so now that we've got her all self-fractured and everything what you want to do is you want to go up here to your, make sure you're in object mode and click on select box and just select all of Susan. All right. And now from here, go up to object, 
go down to rigid body and click add active so now every piece of Susan should be active if we were to go down here and hit this play button she should fall like normal there she goes we all right but we don't want her to fall through the map we want her to hit a surface and shatter into a million fucking monkey pieces right so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to add we're going to go down to mesh and I'm going to go to cube just to get a th make it th thicker because when you hit when it hits a plane sometimes pieces can clip through but I'm going to get me a thick old cube all right, so now we've got the cube out here, right? Make sure the cube is selected, and then go over here to your physics. That time it's my mom. All right, and then go over here to your physics tab. While you're in your physics, go to collision. Now, now here's the thing. Here's another thing I don't really know about. Um, I both select collision and I select rigid body and put it in passive. I don't know if you need to, if you have to do that or not. Better to be safe, I think. Okay, so now that that's got the uh, rigid body in passive and collision thing on it, uh, Susan should shatter into a bunch of coconuts when we drop her. Yeah, whoa, wasn't that just awesome? Okay, so now look, Susan's in a lot of pieces. All right, so now what we want to do, let's, um, again, let's go up here and select the box selection, select all of Susan, Go to the move tool. Also, for, for just 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 to clear this up before y'all start fucking being mean to me. Yes, I am aware of all the all the fucking all the all the fucking uh, uh, shortcut keys and and this and that to 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 scale Susan and from my keyboard. But y'all, I don't want to do that shit because I'm I'm very incapable and y'all are making fun of me and it's hurting my feelings. All right, so go up here and select move. Drag her up and now drop her. No, I, I pressed the wrong button. Whoa, now she exploded into big monkey pieces. No, they're, they're the same size, they just went further. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is select the box, press Control C, Control V, whatever, you know. I hope you know. To uh, duplicate, let's scale it down and let's scale it. Oh, no, no, no. Let's scale it up. Now this this part right here is just for uh, we're gonna set up a little room for her basically, so, huh? Yeah, we're just gonna set up a little room. Now what we want to do is, um, if we click this button, see this camera icon? Camera? See the camera icon? You can click on that, and you should be able to see through your camera view. But we ain't got no camera, so go go up to add, go up to add, and click on camera. Okay, and now we got a camera. And now if we drag this camera back. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's hit the green. Come on, what the f***? All right, click the green arrow and drag it back. And now let's view through the, see what the camera sees. All right, now let's drop Susan. Okay, so you see everything in this frame will be rendered. Everything in that frame will be rendered. And we can even see like what it's going to look like when it's rendered. So if we hit this up here. Oh, first off. I guess we could check it out in Eevee. Oh, we have no light sources. So it's going to look kind of weird if we don't have any light sources. So let's go ahead and add some light sources. Go up to add, go down to light, and uh, let's just add, let's add a sun, I guess. I'm going to put the sun directly up above everybody. Let's see how much that changes things. Just default. Default sun does a little bit. Um, if you have the sun selected, you can go down here to object data. You should see a little light bulb if you have the sun selected. And you can change the strength of it. Let's change, I'm going to put it at 0.5. I'm going to use uh, point lights for the rest of it. So we go back up here to add, go to light, and go to point light. And now just place these around. And uh, since we've got the point light selected, it's at 10 watts. Let's change it to 2,000 watts. I don't know. I, I have no idea what you would normally need to do this to. But I'm kind of just screwing around and seeing what happens. Okay, so that we got two of them at 2,000 watts. Okay, that looks good. So if we drag this back.
Okay. So <clears throat> this isn't this is an EV render engine. If you go over here and click on this uh, render context bar, and you see up here it says render engine. I'm gonna change it to cycles. Okay. And it says device CPU. I'm gonna use my GPU since I have a good graphics card. It'll make it faster. Okay, so now if we if we drag Susan forward and then look at it through this, we're using the cycles render engine. Okay, so what, what I'm gonna do is, which is totally unneeded. Um, we've got everything set up. You can screw around and with this and see what you can come up with. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm just going to dress it up and make it look nice. And I will show y'all what I come up with. Okay. Sound good? Okay. All right. Now welcome back. This right here is what we just came up with. I added um, textures to the walls and floor, and then also gave the monkey head a texture. Something I should have said beforehand. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I don't know how. If you want the monkey, like all the pieces to have a texture, you need to add the texture onto the monkey or onto the mesh before you fracture it because I had to delete all the pieces and then make a new head and then texture it or not texture it, give it a material and then fracture it so it could be blue. So if you want it to be uh, have a material, you want to give the material to the object before you fracture it. Also, you can see that before it even hits the ground, it's kind of falling apart. I think that's because there were pieces still in the head that I didn't delete that were kind of pushing things around, like big pieces that were sticking out. So, to have a good, clean mesh as it falls, you need to make sure there's no protruding thingies. <laughs> also, as you can see, this, you know, the camera angle is all different and everything. With my original, I have a setup to make it look like it's falling on a flat screen. If you're interested in learning how to do that, which would be a little more complicated because it took a long time for me to just figure out. I didn't find a tutorial. I came up with it myself. Um, if you would like to see how I did that, just the fact that it looks like it's hitting the bottom of the screen and it's hitting the sides and everything, let me know. Uh, I can make a tutorial on that as well. If not, cool, whatever. Okay, so this is what we came up with. I hope this helped y'all. I hope that you're able to use Blender and, and just hope you can do some stuff. Something else I want to uh, point out, or something else I just want to tell everybody who's here learning to use Blender and using Blender and may not have the best computer to for Blender, this website, this website right here, render renderstreet.com that I am using them to and their render farm to render these out and use my computer at the same time because it takes so much resource to render something that I can't do anything else so I was able to edit this video while this monkey head right here was rendering on renderstreet.com I uploaded it to their website and uh, had it render super cheap compared to a lot of other places right now they have a deal going on where you pay one dollar for the first day and uh, you get a whole day of unlimited rendering up to 15 minutes per frame. And it's just amazing. I'm able to use my computer while rendering, and it's awesome. So I consider people looking into Render Street. It's not sponsored or anything. I'm just, it's helped me a lot. <laughs> but again, I hope this tutorial helped y'all. If y'all want to know more, y'all have questions, leave them in the comments. I'll respond to every comment as long as this video doesn't just get so many comments that I can't respond. All right. Thank y'all very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to roll my outro. See you later. Bye, guys. How was that shit? Would you like another one? Well, if you would, there's a couple of options. Any assortment of videos of mine should be on screen now, so isn't it obvious? Couple of clickable boxes, possibly showing an image of ostriches. Honestly, anything could be in my boxes. Click on the box, the most clickbaited title.